Welcome back, everyone. It's been a couple days. Uh, I've been feeling a little under the weather. I'm still kind of feeling that way. But, um, I did some, did some work on my channel when it comes to... You may notice there's little uh, boxes down below where I'm like, Hey, I put some little uh, panel banners and stuff like that. There's nothing done to them right now, but um, it's, uh, it's a thing. I'm going to fill them out soon. Okay, now it loads after disabling ad blocker. That's weird. So it's 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 the ads that are fucking with you. Well, that's no good. But at least you can watch it now. Anyway, I redid a little bit of this quest. I didn't have to redo much. All I did was I reunited those two over there. I still gotta talk to them. Before I talked to them, I went out here, I dealt with um folks out there telling them, eh, d don't let vengeance take over or whatever, because he was like, eh, he's, he's undefended, eh? Like, whoa, eh, eh, don't do that. And that, that took care of that quest a little bit. Um, and yeah, so now we just got to talk to Heck here. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Okay, so... If you don't want to take a chance on losing uh, fame and stuff like that, you just lie. Uh, but if you want to get the most out of this, and if you've got just 35 speech, just say it was Mortimer. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Heck Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. That sounds they bad. control the food? Well, there ain't going to be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. Okay, all you gotta do to talk him out of it is just speech 35. That's just what they'd want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. Now, it did say I got White Glove Society fame. But you're saying that it, it doesn't actually give me fame, despite it saying so. That would probably explain why it doesn't say, oh yeah, the white, you're liked in the White Glove Society. But yeah, at least this way, this is fairly safe I guess or are you saying that like yup fixes it so that if I lie I get fame for both I don't know but I never liked on the strip okay so we're maxed out on speech we're maxed out on repair it's time to work on something else what should we work on? You think we should do science, lockpick, medicine? Uh, what do you think we should get to 50 next? How many lines supposed to give you? Science, I'd say. Okay. And does White Glove Society fame actually do anything? Like, I can't see them showing up at the Hoover Dam, but, I mean... Does White Glove Society do anything? I've never really messed with them before, so I don't really know. I don't know, honestly. I don't believe there's any kind of thing. It might be a thing for if you want to do Yes Man. Which I don't. So, okay. Whatever. I can't see any way... What any other way why, how you'd uh, raise their fame anyway. And all we really care about is the strip. So we'll just leave it at that. Uh, so, okay. What we'll do is we'll get science to 40 for now. Put 4 into guns. And then next level we'll put another 10 into science to get that to 50. And then left over points we'll put in the guns. And we'll just, we'll just kind of do it that way. We'll do 10 at a time until we get and just use remaining points for guns. So we'll get science to 50. Uh, I could I could do tag 
but I'm not ready for that yet, I don't think. I mean, not that I can't take it, but... Eh. So we'll get science to 50, probably. Um... If I do tag, it'll probably be either for lockpick or barter. Just so that in one level I can, you know, I can boost one of them up to 35 and then take tag to take it to 50. Uh, yeah. But for now we'll do, we'll do this. Okay. And then, um, there's a few good ones I can take. Uh, after this, there's not too many perks I actually want. Like, not even weapon handling, because I can get enough strength from uh, the implant, uh, Old World Blues, and uh, power... Between Old World Blues, power armor, and uh, implant, uh, I don't have to ever raise strength again. Um, tag is an option for later. Not quite yet. Uh, center of mass is fine. Uh, adamantium skeleton, that's good. Life givers are good. Uh, like it's life givers, nothing special, but it's you know it's it's a it's a decent passive. Gets you a couple levels worth of hit points. Um, doesn't mean quite as much if you've got high endurance. The steering Imperi imperialist. <laughs> I st I keep wanting to take that, but I'm like, eh. I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and take intense training twice. To get endurance up to 10. So that way I can get uh, all of the implants when I'm ready for them. And hey, it's just more hit points. Weapon handling can be nice uh, if you don't want to up that strength but want that missile launcher. Sure, sure. But I figure as long as we've got five, you know, again, one from the implant for six. Uh, two from Old World Blues to make it eight. And then we're going to have power armor. So that's a that's a, like a minimum of one strength. Uh, most suits give two though, if, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we'll just, well, I think we'll just do intense training, and then we'll do endurance. It'll take us up to nine. I mean, high endurance isn't a bad thing anyway. It's it, like rad resistance. Uh, well, it's any environmental resistance really. Uh, health. Uh, another implant we can take. It's, yeah. Might as well. There's enough bonuses to make it worthwhile. Okay, so what should we do next? I kind of forget what we were even doing. Or at least what we were going to do. Oh, come on, take it. This game wants to crash so often. I can't imagine how often this thing would be crashing if we weren't using those patches. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Oh, for, well, first let me... Okay, I'm never going in there again, so... Let's go ahead and get set up here. Okay, uh... Lever action. Uh... That gun. Man, I've worked on these for nothing. What a waste. Uh, shut up. Uh, is that better now? 19. Oh, that gun's still better. Like, way better. Uh, I do like Maria. Bonus critical chance? That has bonus critical chance, too. But, you know, they're there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Cowboy Repeater. Another SMG and Power Fist. Sure. Maria is faster than that gun. There's more shots that can be that can crit per magazine. Totes. I mean, it's true, but I mean, it's also uh, um, brain fart. Ah, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm stupid. God damn, I'm dumb. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. What, what, what were we going to do? Let's see. What can we do? Uh, there's two people we can find for the tops. I don't really care about that right now because we were only doing it for fame. If we come across two other people, cool. House always wins. We're not doing that because we're not going with house. 
render unto Caesar. Um, I can go to Cottonwood Cove and just start killing people. But we'll wait on that. Uh, Benny's room in the tops for clues. Uh, don't we don't need to do that because that just leads to the free Vegas route. So this one and this one we can ignore totally. We can ignore this and this for now. Things that go boom. Uh, convince the boomers to aid you in the upcoming battle. Um, I at least need to make my way out there to find the other Brotherhood patrol. Uh, let's see. What is it I need to do to make them not fire at me? There's something I could do before the first time I go over, right? I think. Uh, bye bye, love. We can do that. Uh, Gamora, nothing but a hound dog. Return to the king with news that Rex can be healed. Okay, we can do that. Still in the dark. Look at the Brotherhood's history. Heartache by the number. Castles. Go to the Crimson Caravans. And then it's just a bunch of DLC stuff. You gotta get to the... Okay, so you do have to, like, just get across there in one piece the first time. Well... We could go ahead and do that, because we need to do that to get to the Brotherhood anyway. Well, not get to the Brotherhood, but, you know, finish their quest. Okay, so where are we at? And what was it that, uh... Oh, yeah, the, the, the Boomers thing is for, is for NCR. Dirt. Okay, so let's see. Boomers are up here? Yeah. Uh, Mole Rat Ranch. Uh, yeah, okay. Do you have any idea how much you have to do for arcade in order to unlock? Okay. <laughs> do you know how much you have to do for arcade to unlock the stuff for, uh, you know, that one group to help you out? You know who I mean. Because I'd, I'd kind of like to do his quest just to get them to join you. Again, you know who I mean. While you're looking at that, I'll start working on the... Getting to... Nellis. Oh wait, it helps if I freaking highlight it. Okay, what's out here? I'm carrying a bunch of shit, aren't I? Uh, a lot of shit. What can I repair you with? I can repair you with the spike knuckles. <laughs> oh, I could probably repair you with, uh... Oop. Well, I'll get some use out of these damn things. I mean, it's not going to increase damage anymore, so I'll just wait on repairing it more. With these crazy ass Brahmin. Ooh! Come on. Did I blow off its fucking head? I think I did. Go me. Ew. Gross. Excuse you. Oh, I'm still wearing my suit. Uh, I should probably, uh, yeah, there we go. But yeah, if we want to keep Veronica long term and not have to ditch her at a, a bad point, don't worry, uh, people that love Veronica. We wouldn't be ditching her for too long. It would just be enough, long enough to get, uh, another party member up so that we can do a quest to then unlock another group to help us out later. The 
He's not a bad party member either. He's other, actually another person that can wear uh, power armor, but uh, very special power armor. Well, hell, let's go ahead and check this out. Here's a certain point in main quest for NCR. It's, uh... For the Republic Part 2. Okay, so we still have a couple parts to go. Um... Does it look like uh, we can get some easy ones for him? Some easy trust points. Found some ammo in here. Er? Aha! Really, that's it? Okay. Uh, tell you what, then. Uh, once we. Okay, uh, I'm sure I know the answer to this, but maybe you could just confirm it for me. Um, oh, you're the oh, you're the dude. Just tells me watch watch out. You're gonna get shelled. Um, if we tell Veronica to go away, she'll just go back to one the 188, right? Whoa there, pal! You better slow down, or you'll get blown up. Like oh yeah, you can just leave her at thir lucky 38. Scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. <laughs> I'll just do it for the XP. I'm, I'm sure it's not bad karma. <laughs> you can tell me or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you. I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Well, you can just tell her to go away and she'll go lucky 38 and there's an option. To... Yeah, that's right. There is an option, I, I believe. Uh, thanks for the warning. What's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. Lordy. You heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Uh, is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. A wager? Uh, let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Hmm. 300 caps? Sure, you got yourself a bet. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. I remember that. Now let's put... Let's, I don't know if we can... Hit, it's not actually a quest. So what we'll do here is... Uh, how do we... Shit, how do we zoom in? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we set a marker there. Mm -hmm. I'll be back for my money. Oh yeah, you gave me a thing, didn't you? The key to avoiding the artillery is to move from building to building up the northwest side of the town. Northwest side there, toward the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner, corner of the two buildings, and make a beeline for the gate. The boomers won't shoot at their own people, so stick to the fence until you make it to the gate. Also, I know that there's an old train tunnel that enters the area from the south, but no one has ever come back up out of there to say it's safe. Oh. I forgot about that. Okay, we need to save.
heard the shell firing. So is that the line? That's probably the line. Okay. So. That's really not too hard. I mean, you can just kind of just bullshit your way through and you'll be fine, but... Okay. The problem with trying to avoid everything is... I need to... Uh, Okay, they do hit you in the... Okay, we're just testing stuff. Okay, it does not work. Okay, they, they'll they still hit you in the, the craters. I couldn't remember if uh, you if you were safe in craters. Okay, so, um, yeah, this will be fun. My main interest right now, and I'm not going anywhere near where he told me. I'm looking for the Brotherhood Patrol. Ow. That one was a direct hit. Ow. Okay, we're not gonna get by this way. And don't worry, I'm just testing the waters. Because I cannot remember where the patrol is. But then again, you know what? I should probably just get, get through it first and then look for them so I don't have to do it under fire. That's probably the smart thing to do, actually. Ow. 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 Well, that didn't go as well as smoothly as it should have, but whatever. We made it to the fence. All we gotta do is get across now. We'll get through. So yeah, that that, that was very very poorly done. Uh, don't be like don't be like me. Well, time to see if we can get some uh, star caps. Okay, there's no opening in the thing here. Right. Okay, fine. This is yeah. Get through this and we'll continue showing you until you're happy as it is, just like that. Just again, yeah. I mean, again, extremely sloppy. I, I think I was like doing it wrong, but whatever. We made it through. Kind of brute forced our way through. Hi. Hold it right there. Hello. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I ain't run. <laughs> Simple enough. Run and hide. Run. It's all in the timing. Yeah, I wasn't really timing it. But, but I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now, and I'll blow you to pieces. You didn't do so well the first time. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Okay. Hey, lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Yes, ma'am. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Is that why you keep shelling them? You mean you were expecting me? Like a prophecy or something? Prophecy? Do we look like a bunch of religious idiots? Man, there's a lot of weird stuff I out in the wasteland. Savage. Outsider, sorry. Would make it to our gates before one of those armies out there comes knocking. That's right, child. Mother Pearl knows a storm is gathering. Times are changing. Maybe time for us to change a little too. Hmm. How might I be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways too. We'll have to see. How can we trust each other if you're going to be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe. 
But the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in, just a little, or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Well, gee, thanks. Can you fix my arm? I think it's blown off. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Okay. So we got a bunch of stuff to do. Oh, okay. Help the boomers around, Nellis. Like I said, every other moron died without reaching them, so you're either lucky or stupid or both. I'll go with both. I'm okay with both. Come on, Veronica, you know how to fix things. Hello. Hey, Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mother Pearl said you have a bug problem? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. You guys stop calling me a savage. It's rude. I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. Oh, one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Yeah, it's fine. Hey. Hey. Alright, you hear that, Veronica? Don't blow up the ants. Okay, I'll just be doing this all out order. See, is this the museum? Well, well no. Well, there's something here. Hello. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patience to tend to. I'm looking to make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Uh. Uh, well, we need more medicine. Hmm. We'll have to come back. I'm sure you know more than that. I don't know enough, enough to help. Wish I did. Don't apologize. Your care is my responsibility. But everything I know came from an old first aid field manual. I don't know what else to do to help them. Uh, see you later. Bye. Hmm. We don't have a magazine on us, do we? No. Hmm. Well, okay, well... So we can't complete all this quest now. Let's come back. I mean, I could just... Bullshit my way through it, but I don't want to do that. If I don't know what I'm doing, I don't want to get people killed. Okay, uh, let's see. Where else can we go? So there's that one. Mm -hmm. What's over here? Yeah, Loyal's house. Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. Oh, hello. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. I'm looking for ways to 
Oh, wait, well, I guess I have this, have this too. Raquel said you were working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants? I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Uh, I think it was a field run. A trial run. Or a field test. A trial run. If you're willing to take the risk, be my guest. I've got it set to broadcast a powerful signal at 24,000 hertz. Just place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Okay, now then. What is it, outsider? Little oh, man. Right. I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? That I can do. Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Uh, I passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I can find parts there? Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charge it. I, pr I imagine I don't even need the parts if I've got high enough repair. I'll be back. I've got work to do. Be sure to stop on back and let me know when the arrays are fixed. But also, we're also in, again, no rush to do any of this because uh, I need to get medicine up ten more. Or find a magazine. Let's see. Aha, here's the museum. This one's great, actually. It's pretty funny. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. I'd like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, I guess by the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> This is great. Ages ago, ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not <laughs> even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, and <laughs> then with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. <laughs> Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. That's actually a thing. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. <laughs> I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. What a fun story! <laughs> I don't even care, I like the story. Hi. It's great. A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? Yeah, right? <laughs> it's oddly familiar. Oi, I wasn't done with you. Hi there. Young man. Now hmm? that you know the story I see a magazine people, there. you must have all sorts of questions. Uh, who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well, whiskey and landmines don't go together. <laughs> so it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Uh, I have some questions about your people's history. Ask away. 
Why did your ancestors leave the safety of a vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was number 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Uh, your people were willing to risk it all for freedom. And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? They had atomic warheads. Uh, I'm surprised Nellis was empty when you people found it. <laughs> right? Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? Will you guys still stop calling me that? It's rude. How you survive? Totally cut off from the world. Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. Nice. The ingenuity of your people is remarkable. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? Hey, just keep schmoo keep schmoo schmoozing with the kid, you'll get fame. I wonder how it's doing at an Air Force base. You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis. And it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. The howitzer battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? How has Dallas taught your people to fly? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Nice. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Lame. Oh, to slip the surly bonds of Earth and dance amid the soaring birds. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? How'd you learn where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. By the 29th of his car, he means it's a B-29. You could attach a ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal... Oh, yeah, that's a real plane. Do. You should go talk to him. Oh, the... everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. I, I suppose you mean the Xi'an 85 or whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know the B-29 is a real plane. I'm looking to make myself useful. Who needs help around here? Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, oh, okay. Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Bye bye. So long. What do you got here? Hey, we're accepted just by hearing some shit. Okay, that's sneak. Um, okay, now this is going to do it. Veronica, you scared me for some reason. Okay, we don't want to steal anything, so let's go. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if that was an actual story. You know, a, a plane crashing in a lake. 
I wouldn't imagine it'd be in this decent of shape, but I mean, fuck, what do I know? You're the fella. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Uh, what do you do here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Yep, it is real. A B-29 Super Fortress crashed in Lake Mead. Oh, that's cool. What a neat way to integrate an actual story into this. What can you tell me about Loyal? Does it say if the plane is still down there, by any chance? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah. Real nice day. Cover a lady? What are you talking about? Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If, I mean, I should really be going. You can already figure it out, dude. You're talking about the B-29. The kid already spilled the beans. Now then, how can I make myself useful? And well, they have a bit of a thing going on here. They got part of a plane. Uh, where'd you go, dude? Oh. Hey there. Back for more? How can I help out? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. <laughs> I wonder if I get the same amount of XP for using Confirmed Bachelor. A personal matter, eh? Handsome guy like you, I bet there's a girl involved. You think I'm handsome? Wow, I wonder if she does too. Aw, no XP from that. Boo. Okay, so I don't have to take, take that anymore. <laughs> so tell me about this dame. There's an outpost near here. Veronica's like, the hey. signs say, Crimson Caravan? It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. Well, every once in a while, I watch the outpost through one of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. This special girl. And sometimes it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. Except she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. Maybe I can talk to her for you. What's she look like? Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. <laughs> I'll look into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. We got way too much dumb shit to do around here. The wreck is probably still there. All four engines were shot on the thing, though, so... In 2015, they resumed guided diving. I'm not sure if they're using it for training or not. It has to be for training. Surely they're not trying to salvage that thing at this point. It's got to be so destroyed from being in the water for that long. But. And besides, like. Like, they'd get no use out of it. Um. I mean, we still use uh, B-52s. But I don't think we'd be using a B-29 for anything. It's kind of amazing that in, in the age of uh, jets and whatnot, we still use B-52s, propeller-driven planes. 
There's a reason for, for still using them. I just don't remember what it is because I'm dumb. Wait a minute. Why am I still getting a marker in there? Hello. Well, what else do you want Have now? You seen her? I'm working on oh. it. Can you think of any ways I can help out? Like I said. So is this just like a... I imagine this is one of those quests where it's just like, hey, just give us as much as you can and you'll get more, um... The more you give, you get unlimited amounts of fame or whatever. Uh, but let's try. Seen her? Got scrap metal for you? Cool. How much can you spare? Just take all of it. No, we don't want to do that. Spare four? Thanks. Thanks for dropping it off. Okay, that, that could be the way I just get the fame out of the way. But I don't want to quite give it all up yet. Not that I would necessarily have to get rid of all of it, but, you know. All right, Veronica, let's go. Okay, what else can we do here? Well, we could probably go ahead and try and fix the solar array. Unless I have to have the parts. If I have to have the parts, then nothing I can do. At least for now. And we can go blow up ants. Well, what do you know? It's a Mr. Gutsy. Another glorious day in this man's army. Okay, there's something over there. Is that... What is that on your back? What's the situation with the... It's not in progress. It's not in progress if you're up here talking to me. Get it taken care of. Yeah, hey, woman, calm down. You need to take a lesson from Veronica and laugh a little. Do you look good? Okay, that's just talking to Rakow about the the ants. Okay, whatever. Let's get some of these missions taken care of then. Uh, ants misbehaving. Mm -hmm. Place loyal signs here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do this then. Oh, is that the automatic grenade launcher? Okay. Or at least the, the backpack for it. For some reason, it kind of looked like, uh, you know, those uh, backpack wire spools, you know, that, like, you know, World War One and Two soldiers would wear on their back. They'd crawl through trenches so that they could, you know, stay safe while laying wire for uh, communications and whatnot. That's what it kind of reminded me of, anyway. P, how far out do I have to go? I kind of hope I don't have to do all the quests. I, I'll, I'll do the, the, the solar array one, or whatever. I'll do this one. We'll see where we're at fame-wise. And then I'll just try giving them some scrap metal. See if we can get through this, get uh, for the Republic part, get the for the Republic part two, and yeah. Although we're, we're, I don't know why I'm acting like we're in a rush because we're not. Because even if I do this, it's like, well, there's still plenty of stuff I want to go explore. Like I want to make this a, a fairly lengthy through. Okay, uh, Veronica, Veronica, don't do. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Veronica, get over here. Get over here. Ow. Okay. Um. Hmm. You're making Don't. me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? How much ammo do you have? Okay. Um. Wait, what? 
Microfusion cells. It says you have 60. Oh, wait, I'm the one that has 61. Okay. Well, while I'm here, I might as well, uh... Turn charge pack, energy cells, flame fuel. I got a lot of fuel, flame fuel. Rocket fusion cells. Um. You know what? Should have brought some. Just wait here. I'll take care of this. Yeah, I, I thought about just taking all her ammo, but you know, I'll just I'll just deal with this myself. I'm more than capable. Ooh, grenades. Uh flight suits. I know that I can If I hadn't high enough barter I can ha have what's her face take boomer stuff instead of just vault suits, but yeah, grenade launcher. Yeah. Where's I go Well, that's actually a pretty decent price, so yeah. Yeah, I think I need like 50 barter or something like that for her to take uh, the the flight suits. Hmm? Here. Wait, did I not give back the... No, I've just got way too much shit on me. You know, is there any, any other things I can go ahead and just combine? I <laughs> get rid of the formal wear. I love jury rig. Oh, I can use a lot of stuff to fix it. Any launcher, uh, cowboy repeater. Yeah, my repair is godly. I might as well. I guess I can get rid of the... Well, I got plenty... No, th th there's no reason to use bullets just for the sake of using bullets. Yeah, what the hell, I'll use it for a little bit anyway. Nothing in here. Nothing down there. Yet, anyway. <coughs> Kablooies! That's more reputation. I'll take it. Ah. Don't want to shoot those. The uh, oh, that's where I started. Ah. I guess I need to go down then. It's a little, uh, a little quiet down here. Hmm? Something over here.
Before I go further, let's go peek around real quick. Three oh eight rounds. Well, all kinds of ammunition down here. I'm surprised I haven't found more. Um, God, lots of grenades. More uh, five millimeter by now. Gonna need plenty of it eventually. Not that I should be surprised. This is a boomer, you know, place. Still, lots of ammo. Sit down. Yeah, this sucks. I really shouldn't be using the 9mm anymore. If I'm going to use the 9mm, I might as well just use Maria. Maria's a pretty good little gun. But I mean, I have so many shells at this point, I might as well use them. I put all those points in the shotgun surgeon and uh and uh and stay back. So mm. because of those two perks, uh even the twenty gauge is still useful for way longer than it should be. Nellis Array, huh? Turn your power source unavailable. Check all cords and plugs for connections. Okay. Terminal? It's pointing at no. That's the door to get inside, isn't it? Let's see here. Hmm. Aha. Wait a minute. You what, mate? I guess I should have been paying attention while I was in here. All right, fine. Okay. Oh. Hello. So where did you guys come from all of a sudden? Hello. fun. Did you guys have fun? I had fun. Oh, hello.
The idea of ant meat is just gross. What am I doing? Oh dear, what's going on up there? <laughs> Jesus. So I think it'll agitate all of a sudden. I think I would notice. Oh, hello. Nom, 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 nom. Sounds like face hugger eggs opening up. Pretty gross. Oh, okay, right. Now then, moving on. Oh, they're right, right here the whole time. Stupid. Just a second. Hello. I'm sure. Thanks. Sorry about that. Okay, I don't have to hit him again. No, okay. Wasn't paying attention to what said on the screen. done. Oh, geez. You guys blew them apart. Come on, you two. Aww. Talk to old Raquel over here. Just a second, sorry. That's about to think about. Oh, what, what was on your mind? I thought there was a trigger for arcade hearing Edie's audio log. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, I thought there was, too. Now that I think about it. Must be misremembering, then. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? They're super dead. Safe to go down there now. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Yeah. Okay, the other thing we can do, or at least attempt to do. Do we actually need parts for this? Sunshine boogie. And a broken solar Okay. I mean, it's not pointing me off in like a like, super far direction, is it? Oh, it wants me to go all the way back to Helios 1. Uh -uh. Right.
back here. See if we can do this without. Without, um, yeah. If we have to, I guess we can go back down and get parts, but I'd really rather not. Besides, if it's a repair check, then uh, we'll just get XP for not doing it with parts. I guess. They have a walker over there, though. Maybe it's the same damn place. God damn it, stupid. You could have just... <sighs> I'm my own biggest disappointment. Okay, so now we gotta do something with all these. Right. What are you doing? Okay. Hey! It's all good in the hood. I can do it with just repair. I am the smartiest. I'm just magicking up some panels. <laughs> Here's a broken one. Hooray! All fixed. Much better. <laughs> Size 50. Press a bunch of buttons. <laughs> Check area efficiency. Eh. Well, I don't have enough science, so, uh, let's not screw with that. We gotta fast travel back. Actually, in the hangars, or yep, you're in there. Maybe we can cough up some scrap for the rest. Do we have to do all the quests to get the boomers to join up, or do you just have to be like you know idolized or certain whatever? You know what I mean? Hello, outsider. Need something? Can I get a code to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Oh. I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. You know there are vertebrates, right? Thing, and I imagine vertebrates can't go as high as B-29 can, but, you know. Are you in solar arrays? Well, how about that? Turns out you aren't completely useless working with your hands. Time for me to go. Later. Okay, we're idolized. That didn't take much. You're smoozing with the kid, turning four scrap metal... Uh, go kill some ants and fix some solar panels. Good to go. Now where's it taking us? Turn to port. Okay, good enough. I guess all they wanted was so much rep. Hooray, hooray. Now, what you mentioned earlier about what quest we have to be on, is it we have to complete For the Republic Part 2, or just be on For the Republic 2, uh, Part 2? You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, I think. I've done everything I can to help out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. 
Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Hey, ask him about it. You really gonna make me go, motherfucker? It's already telling me. It's like, oh yeah, talk to them about their plan about raising the bar for the bar. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Get to complete for the Republic Part Two. Show offers. So you think after we deal with the boomers here, we should just go ahead and uh, go snag arcade for a bit? Yeah, I know that's actually a name, but what a weird name, Arcade. Okay then, yeah. Hey there, old timer. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. I already knew it! You people are really bad at keeping secrets. <laughs> that sounds really creepy. <laughs> lady in the water, what's that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum couldn't fly but had a lot of spare parts see get where I'm going mm -hmm. since I was a young man I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life what do you say how do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of a lake simple attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up here is a remote detonator once the ballast is attached to the plane just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. If it's so simple, why haven't you done it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. All right, I'm game. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Any ideas on how to get to the bottom of Lake Mead without drowning? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Yeah, we're probably fine. But I'll talk to him about it anyway. Whatever. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? No, shut up. I don't care. Oh, well, let me know when you do. Well, said so you can help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Mm, okay, I'll let you know if I find a pressure cooker. Great. That's all I need to get the rebreather to work right. I don't think you'd want to start breathing water halfway down. Is it really that deep? Bye. How close am I to a level? Eh. Uh. 600 away. Hmm. Okay, where is this damn lake anyway? Man, it's all the way down there. Holy shit. Could raid Vault 34 also. God damn. Well, that's. I guess that's the closest point. Other than Veronica, my love, shall we? Let's see, where's that one bar? So I'm carrying way too much stuff on me. Surely, surely, ah, oh, there it is. Surely some of it is sellable. 
And I'm not holding on to it for some dumbass reason. Although I am carrying a bunch of shit. Oh, now you're up and about. Surprising that the cons are going to walk out of here after all that fuss. Tell me what you have for sale. What can I get you? Be quiet. Nothing. Uh, let's see here. Smokes. Um, wow, that's it. What do you have? It's fun. Yeah, we need some stars for I gotta stop buying those. You have like nothing else. Why are you many stim packs? Well, this is garbage. Get my smokes back. Oh no, those will actually weigh a decent bit. Oh, whoops. I did that wrong. There we go. Well, shit. <laughs> You suck. Thanks. Come back real soon. Oh yeah, since I got some money to blow. Actually, um, what any points did I get so far? Endurance, intelligence. Luck, and we got the subdermal armor. Yeah. Um. I could get a couple stats. Or I could hold out for regeneration. Hmm. I should probably get regeneration. So I'll hold out for a bit then. Uh. Yeah. Well, Veronica, I hope you like long walks, because that's where we're going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I forgot to go do something. Eh, I'll go talk to him later. Meh. It's marked. It's fine. Okay. This lake. And this is Lake Mead, right? So it shouldn't be... Wait, is this Lake Mead? If this is Lake Mead, it shouldn't be radioactive. Whoa, hello. Lake Lurks. Oh, boy. Come here. Excuse you. Get out of here. Jeez, what a bunch of chumps. Gross. Second. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, big question. Okay, it's not radioactive. Oh boy, that actually hurt me quite a bit. Okay, can we actually dive that far. Where ox oxygen doesn't last long, does it?
What's that I see over there? Don't care. Well, actually, I do kind of care. If I can get a level out of this. Well, Edie can fight them just fine. Hey, idiots! Fuck out of here. Why is that walking weird? Bunch of link lurks. Get here. Anything fun? Did you guys already take all the fun stuff or chuck it into a lake? I got some bullets. Well, at least since I asked for five millimeters, at least I'm getting them now, I guess. I don't know what it took. Whatever. Well, shoot. Might as well sleep here till morning. Too much further. Ah, perhaps over there. I imagine it has to be a deeper part of the lake or something. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh, there it is. This should be within swimming range. Problem is, where does it want me to attach it? Tips or well, it's got a marker. I guess I should use that, huh? Okay, okay, GGs. Oh, the drowning damage is permanent. Boo. Hmm. Exactly, are the ballast points? Oh, that's how that works. Okay, just hold it down. All right. <laughs> Drink some sunset sarsaparilla too. Why not? There, kids. Water heals all wounds. <laughs> Gotta fix that drowning damage, just just chug some water. It's fine. 
Under the wings, okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, up we go, up we go. It's fine. Go to the shore near the tow winch and use the... Okay, whatever. I'll go to this one. More bottle caps. Gimme, gimme. Okay, then. We have this thing. There's an actual like weapon I have. Probably an actual weapon. Oh, I see dirt. Oh. <laughs> That's how that works. Okay, back to Loyal we go. You don't need no damn rebreather. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Your plan worked. The plane floated up. Seemed to be intact. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. I was talking to plan to get the plane back here. I just told you. The robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Are you planning to use diversionary tactics to draw their attention? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Okay, well, I'm glad I helped. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Hey. No, wait a minute. What are we doing now? Oh, whatever, let's get out of here. I think we're about ready to wrap it up. For the day. Short stream, but I want to get something done before I you know. Right in here? Okay. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Spoken to Loyal. The B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Maybe a battle in the near future at the Hoover Dam. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. 
After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, let's get science up to 50. Guns up to 83. And before we wrap it up... And yeah, I'm getting a little tired too. Hey! Bitch! You owe me money! Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive. Let alone manage a return trip. I thought you said you would double my money? Yep. Here are your caps. <laughs> I'm not going for bad karma. That's rude. That's 600 caps it is. Sorry about that. Poor memory. Here you go. All right, then. That's a wrap, everybody, for now. Uh, more to come uh, early tomorrow morning. I'll probably go ahead and... Uh, go around to a couple shops, sell some crap, whatever. I need to lighten my load. So, thank you everyone on YouTube for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.